Hello, welcome again. Today we're looking at another little first look at something from HGLRC, which you probably can't see here. Just before we get into that, a quick reminder, please like or dislike this video, comment down below, don't forget to subscribe, and if you can find it, click on the little bell icon, it'll tell you when I'm uploading stuff. What this is, quite simply, is a GPS unit from HGLRC. Not too much to it, it comes in this bag. What you get is the actual little unit itself. This thing with nice silicon cables for hooking up to your UART port some HGLRC stickers, and a small amount of instructions here. So it's um, a little GPS. Um, it uses the GPS and GLONASS uh, amongst many signals, so it should be quick to find a satellite and give us a decent position. It speaks the UBlox protocol, which means in theory I should just be able to plug it in, tell Beatflight it's a, a UBlox uh, receiver, and it should just configure. The only thing I think it's missing, personally, out of the box, is a little sticky because it's good to stick these on somewhere so they don't move around. What we've got here is the HGLC Batman 220. Uh, quite a review a while ago, but I still like to use it. Really nice flyer. And I actually added a GPS to this one. This is uh, one of these Bentian BN220s. It's a little bit bigger than the HGLC one and it uses the same sort of connector, although the pinouts look slightly different. So I'm going to swap this one out with this one. Um, I might just jiggle around these pins rather than solder it in, and we'll see how this works. This is also uh, UBlox compatible, so in theory, I won't have to do anything to the beta flight setup. Super lazy me. Uh, so let's swap that out and see what happens. So here we are in beta flight, having connected up, and I just wanted to show you the configuration I've done. Not that I've really changed it from the previous one, but slightly different. But if we look at the ports, now interesting this GPS thing, I thought, oh, I'll set this to auto because then it will go and basically negotiate and decide what it wants. But if I save that and look at the ports again, it basically comes back and says, no, it's 57600, which seems perfectly fine. So I suppose we can go for that. Uh, in the configuration, I've also got this set to auto board, but I can, I can take that off or do it with it on. And it seems OK. So the important things here is that we are using the UBlox protocol. This is what this one uh, uses and it's got its own little protocol that uh, it can talk to. One thing you'll notice we don't have here is GPS listed as one of the functions we've got on the board and well there's two reasons this could happen one of which is you wired it up wrong the other is the power's not being supplied to the GPS while it's on the board. In terms of hooking it up and many people make this problem because we're so used to saying this is ground I join it to ground this is 5 volts I join it to 5 volts the, the only difference here is when you've got an RX and a TX pad, you need to join that up to the, the opposite one. So TX on the GPS goes to RX on the UART, and similarly RX on the GPS goes to TX on the UART. As long as you've got those round the right way, you'll be fine. So for my quad, I have to plug in for the GPS to get power, and you see it's obviously po popped into life there. Of course, if you're plugging stuff in on your desk, don't forget to take your props off. And we've got expert mode here, and you'll need it to see the GPS. And and we can, well, it says waiting for a GPS fix. Depending where you are and what sort of house you're in and stuff like that, you may well get sat IDs and quantities and signal strengths appearing down here. Um, if that works for you indoors, that's good for me. I, apart from being in a pretty bad area as it is, I'm under the roof and so I don't get a good signal here. The, the reason we've got GPS here showing is because this knows that it's getting a data back from GPS. The data just happens to be saying all zeros, basically it hasn't got a fix yet. So the only other thing I've done on this particular quad, because I know um, it already works and I've tested out the GPS rescue a lot is doing this. I've done a whole uh, video about how to use GPS instead of for GPS rescue. Take a look at that and uh, don't just set to GPS rescue and expect it to work. It needs a, a decent amount of testing before that does work. For us though, what we're going to need to do is take this off the bench and go and plug it in somewhere where I've at least got a line of sight to the outside and uh, just check we get some satellites coming in. Well, the weather's turned pretty nasty here in the UK. We had all that sun and now it's back to rain, but had a little break in the weather, so off I went to sit outside and timed exactly how long it took to get some sats. Not a great place, my garden, for getting sats, and it took three minutes to have the four pop in, and then we were about another minute before we got the fifth, 
and then another minute again to get to six where you've at least got a locked signal and that's about as good as it gets in my garden. So that was a bit slow there, even for a, a very first fix where you haven't got any of the uh, initial Olmanac data down from the satellites. But at the same time, my garden is a weird place. I've tested a lot in there and quads where I can only get sort of four or five satellites there, I take to a regular field and they get 10 or 12 much quicker. So I'm treating this as more of a functional test. Does the GPS work? Does it get a signal? The answer is yes. Of course, with beta flight, you could have the GPS coordinate data on your screen as well. For privacy reasons, I don't include that in the footage I put out today. So post Corona, we'll be able to test this properly. And what I'll be doing is going to a field, seeing how quickly it can get a fix, how accurate that fix is, how many satellites it can get. And then we'll be testing a warm restart. So basically I power it off, I change the batteries, I come back. I would expect it to acquire the satellites a lot quicker on that second and third time and then we can test things like GPS rescue and it will distance to home and height and all that sort of stuff so that will be coming up eventually um, when we can go outside and fly again which isn't now which is a, it's a bit weird trying to look at a GPS when you can't do anything other than just say yep it's functional it works and this is how you install it that's about it but uh, yeah I'll be back to test this um, when I can along with a bunch of other stuff. In the meantime this has been a little GPS receiver from HLRC and of course there's links down below from where you can check it out. Uh, in the meantime uh, stay safe everybody, keep washing those hands and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Well you've made it to the end of the video so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw then please consider subscribing and if you really like what you saw then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.